Hey everybody, it's Sunday night, and that means you're welcome to Mark's Whiskey. Uh, now we were going to wait on this one until our uh, co-host Michael Arms could be here, but uh, he spent too many weeks away uh, partying with Crowbot, and uh, so uh, we decided uh, we had to crack this one open. But uh, this is Maker's Mark, and uh, I don't know, you said uh, you were talking about uh, they also have cigars? Oh, absolutely. It's something I'm very familiar with is the Maker's Mark. Uh, they they produced a, an infused cigar, and what they do is, I guess, they uh, they produce the cigars and then they aerosol the whiskey or the bourbon. I don't know, is it considered a bourbon or a whiskey? The uh, whiskey's the overall thing. Okay. Whiskey's but, overall, So yeah. it's a bourbon whiskey. It's a bourbon, okay. yeah. But what they do is they aerosol it, and they absolutely permeates the cigar and in, infuses it, and every, it smells like it, it tastes like it. It was an amazing cigar. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a notorious cheapskate. Uh, they're $20 a stick, and I, I continue to buy them. They're fantastic. Nice. Nice. And they seal them in a glass tube and seal them with the wax so they know that they're Maker's Marks. So. Yeah. Now, uh, just uh, he, he actually brought up an interesting uh, thing. Remember that whiskey is kind of the big umbrella, you know, category. And then uh, if you want to go a little bit smaller, you can either go scotch or bourbon or all the other different types that don't have, you know, easier names uh and then uh then you know within bourbon you have a whole bunch of different things that can fit within bourbon uh as far as uh what region it is and, and what different recipes you have and all that but uh but bourbon uh, there's bourbon there's scotch and then you know a bunch of other that are basically yeah. more regional like canadian yeah. is its own and blended. blended yeah right right blended and yeah so and and the flavored whiskeys which uh most whiskey snobs uh turn their nose up at um but they just uh, haven't yeah. been drunk enough yeah so mm -hmm. but uh but anyways this is maker's mark and uh here's to you arms it almost doesn't have any flavor like it's very subtle on the. It's got a very. I mean, you got. It's not bitey, but it definitely lets you know it's there, for sure. Not overly strong, but. Do well, I would expect more bite from? I mean, this is ninety proof. Yeah. And I know that uh, when it comes to like your your higher end whiskeys, this is kind of your, uh, kind of the 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 the, st the standard for higher end whiskeys. You know, if you want to, if you're a real whiskey connoisseur, you go a little bit, a little bit above or off from Maker's Mark. But you know, for anybody that's like starting, your or your... right, so, well, uh, that's actually Scotch. Yeah. Uh, but when you go into bourbons, and that's actually, from what I understand, Jameson's, uh, it's considered uh, rot gut in, in where where it's made. So hmm, nice. Um, we, but Amer we Americans think that it's all high end. But uh, but anyways, yeah. If you're if you're if you're just starting out with, uh, you're wanting to move up from the lower end whiskeys. Uh, this is kind of a, a default. Uh, it's one that if you're ordering in a restaurant, they probably have it. Um, if you're ordering in a bar, they probably have it. You can say Maker's Mark, and most, most bars will have Maker's Mark. Whereas if you go into the higher end, a little higher than Maker's Mark, um, yeah, or the neighbors of Maker's Mark, same quality but just a different brand, they may or may not have that. Yeah, this uh, is the one you're going to find at all the liquor stores. Yeah. You're, you're find it at all the bars. Yeah. Right. And I think, I think you're absolutely right, and I think it plays a great stepping stone between your shooting whiskey, if you want to call it that, and uh, your turkey. sipping whiskey, wild <laughs> turkey, uh, Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels, uh, yeah. Like a cross between a sipping whiskey and a shooting whiskey. You're not going to feel bad shooting it, but you're also not going to feel too bad if you if you just kind of tuck into it every now and again yeah. and sip it. So yeah. that's actually so, a pretty good uh, indication of a, of a quality of a whiskey. So yeah. I, I think still, out of all the whiskeys we've tried, I, I, I still got to say, I think I like the Burnside best. I, sounds like I need to pick up another bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, Maker's Mark, uh, good whiskey. Um, it's got a definite, I think this would be a great whiskey to drink right before you go to bed. Just a nice shot right before you go to bed. Yeah, a little nightcap. So, uh, yeah, a little nightcap. It's great nightcap whiskey. Absolutely. So uh, anyways, that's Maker's Mark. Uh, feel free to uh, go to our YouTube channel or our website or our Facebook page and uh, leave a comment on what you think of Maker's Mark, uh, what uh, bourbons that you might think are uh, a little better than Maker's Mark, um, and uh, just overall what do you think of the podcast but uh, anyways uh, see you next Sunday night uh, for another Mark's Whiskey well